I made a pretty cool update on my Genei v0.17. And that is the new cool model mapper. And that is super powerful. So let's go and see the code here, how it works. So what we have in the code, you go to your cargo to ML, just Tokyo and Genei. That's it. Now, if we go to the code, we import here the chat and the client. And then we have our model, GPT-40 for now. And we have client. We build our chat request. We execute it. And we print the chat response. So far, so good. We press save. And that will run this. So far, so good. So now, what we want is the model mapper is about mapping a model to another one. So even if we say GPT-40, let's say that we want to be cheap, and then we want to use GPT-40 mini. So what we can do now is use a builder. We can do that or do client builder, the same thing. And then we're going to do with, and now we have this model mapper. You can give an object model mapper, or you can give a model mapper function. So we're going to do the function. It can be a closure. So the closure will be a model identifier. So that is what it takes as input. And that will be a model item. That is a new type. In fact, before it was model info, but now it's better name, model identifier. And that has the adapter type as well as a model name. So now that we have that, we're just going for now to return the OK model identifier. So that is the signature of the function. And then obviously that will return a client builder and we need a client. So we're going to call build. So far, so good. So now we have a client. So I'm going to press save and that should be exactly the same because we didn't do anything. We just returned what was inferred. So that's good. Now we don't see here the model response. Now the cool thing here is we can, now that we have the model identifier, we can actually print the adapter, and we're going to put a model name like that. So that will be chat res model identifier, and then that will be the adapter kind. And now that response model identifier model name. Press save. And now we have the real model adapter and the model name that was resolved at the time of the ex execution of the chat request. So now the cool thing is if we wanted to be cheap, what we could do is do uh, something like if model hidden. So that is what is inferred, model name. And we're going to say start with, and we're going to say all GPTs will go to the GPT-40 mini, for example. Everything else, we will keep the same. So one way I like to do it is I like to do the shadow. We could also have it the if else returning the, the OK, obviously, but I like this way, model identifier. And that now we are going to return a model identifier, a new one. And we're going to use the model hidden adapter type, adapter kind. We are the same adapter kind, so we are using the same one. And we are going to hard code it GPT for mini. So whatever I send will go there. Press save, and then voila, that is OpenAI, GPT for mini. Obviously, if we have anything there, press save, that will work as well because it starts GPT dash. So we're going to go back to GPT for all. Now, if we were going to put um, Grok, that is Grok with a Q, and the Llama 3.1, that is still untouched because we didn't change it. And so that is his branch. And so that we're getting that. So far, so good. So if we wanted to say, for example, well, we want the GPT-4 mini, all the GPT-4 mini now, we want them to be Llama 3.1. Because in fact, they're in the same kind of realm of quality, and Llama 3.1 might be cheaper or might be a little bit better. So what we're going to do is we're going to say, well, if GPT-4 mini, we don't touch the rest. So we're going to do a contains here, could be equal. And now what we want is to route it into this model. Now, obviously, this is not the same adapter. So if we press save here, we will send the, the key to OpenAI of the Grok one. So what we want is we're going to do a let model. We're going to use 
like that. We're going to put it like this. And then let adapter kind. And that is where we are going to put the adapter kind. And we're going to do rock. So in this case, I know it. I will show later how we can use it without knowing it. So we do that. That is going to be this guy. And the model is going to be this guy. Press save. And now we have Grok. Even if we ask GPT for O mini, because down there here we are using the model hard coded, now it's rerouted, I mean mapped into Lama 3.1 on Grok. And I could map it into my local Lama if I wanted. So if I put that there, that will work. I would change, need to change that by O Lama. So actually, there's a better way here of doing that. And that is going to be from model. And then we give the model name. That will return a result of adapter kind. In fact, what we want is if we do a question mark, this closure expect an error, which is from the resolver and not a create error, which is what you want when you have closure. You don't want to carry over often the whole create error. So what we need to do is map error. And we're going to say just error to string. So what I put there as well in this resolver error which is also used for the mapper, is a custom from string and to string and so on. So I press save. And now I put the question mark because that will return a result. But now we can use the question mark. And then voila. So now we could use Cloud Sonnet if we wanted. We put it there, press save. And because that will take care of the rest, everything works. Obviously, I have all the keys, so that's why it works. Yeah. Now is we're using Anthropic and this. So we just remap GPT-4 mini to Anthropic. And then we could even put the local Lama. So in this case, we'll do that. Take a little bit more time because it probably needs to warm up. And after a little while, we get it. So, but now if I press save, it should be faster, kind of. The 70B is kind of slow on my machine. I have a maxed out max, but even then. So that is pretty cool because now I can map anything to anything and that will work pretty well. So that can be used obviously for aliases. So if we wanted to have a model here and we say small one, and then we'll do a small one, we say, okay, if it's a small one, the small one will be our Lama 70B. And we're going to do this one. It's a little bit faster, much faster. Press save and then boom, we have the result. And then that's it. So that is the model mapper from the GenAI library. Hope you liked it. Hope you like the new format. Like and subscribe and comment is awesome. Until next one, happy coding.